Hey Cards, I'm McKenna. And I'm May. Welcome back to News from the Nest. Today is Monday, November 6th. There is no school tomorrow because of Election Day. If you're registered, you can go to any voting location in the county to vote for Governor or Lieutenant Governor, Secretary of State, Attorney General, Auditor of Public Accounts, State Treasurer, and Commission of Agriculture. On Wednesday, there are club meetings during sixth period. The Beta Club will be selling turkey treats all next week in the cafeteria for 50 cents to a dollar. The treats will be delivered the day before Thanksgiving break. Make it pictures will be next Monday, November 13th for seniors and upperclassmen. Congratulations to the cheerleading team who will be going on to compete in the state competition on December 9th. The Winter Guard will be having auditions Thursday, November 9th and November 16th in the middle school gym. Wear athletic clothes and tennis shoes. Let's welcome some more news teachers to South Laurel. Hi, I'm Madeline and I'm here with... Kyle Taylor. And what do you teach? English and math. And where did you go to college? So I've been to three different colleges. I started out at EKU, and then I went to Cumberland's, and then Union. Cool. And what's your favorite thing about South? So I actually went to school here. I graduated in 08, and uh, it's just good to be back and, uh, you know, relive that Cardinal pride. So. Oh, yeah, but it's nostalgic. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm Alice Majors, and I'm here with... Jennifer Bofo. What do you teach? Finance. What college did you go to, and did you like it? Uh, UK. Yes, I'm a UK girl, UK fan. Um, and what's your favorite thing about South Laurel? Uh, probably all the teachers are very friendly, and we've got really good leadership. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. We're so happy to have Ms. Bovo and Mr. Taylor with us. Time to check out Keeping Up with the Cardinals. Hey Cards, I'm Addison. And I'm Jacob, and this week we're asking you all, what's the largest animal you all could take in a fight? Jacob, what's the largest animal you think you could take in a fight? Um, probably like a malnourished baby deer. I think it'd be easy to break its limbs where it's malnourished. I think they already have small limbs, I think it'd be an easy dub. I think a sweet... Okay, let's see what you all have to say. And what's the largest animal you think you could beat in a fight? One versus one, no weapons. I'd say like a pig or something. Well, it's gonna charge at me, right? And I'm gonna sidestep. And I'm going to keep on hitting it and doing that, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to keep on wearing it down while it's charging at me. What's the largest animal you could be in a fight? A uh, snake. How are you going to beat the snake? What are you going to do? I'm going to put it in a chokehold. Okay, what if it just, it's just going to slither out of the chokehold, though? Like, what are you actually going to do? Um, probably cut its head off. You don't, you don't have a weapon or anything to cut its head off, though, with its hand-to-hand -hand combat? A snake doesn't have hands. Hand to slither increase your combat. A cow. Why do you say a cow? Like, okay, so what is your plan of attack, actually? Like, you can't use any weapons. Punching it in the nose. Because it's going to hurt the nose, and then it's going to, like, fall down. I guess. I don't know. And what's the largest animal you think you'd be in a fight? One versus one, you don't get a weapon. Great white shark. A hundred percent. How are you going to beat a great white shark? Explain that to me. I don't, I'm just capable of it, I know. No, you're not. No, you're not. You don't stand a chance. You get, you get one tapped by a great white shark. Uh uh, I, it's I, I've done it before. You guys like, oh, I was at the beach, so. And what's the largest animal you all could be in a fight? Two versus one. Probably a bear. Do you agree? You think you can take a bear? Yeah, I do. All right, what are you all gonna do to beat the bear? Like, what's the plan of attack here? Lay on it. It's, it's suffocate. Does that work with you? Are y'all just gonna jump on it? Yeah, why not? Um, I think I can take an elephant. Okay, what are you going to do if the elephant tries to step on you, though? Well, um, you see, since I'm uh, basically Superman, just pick it up with, uh, with my pointer finger. And what's the largest animal you think you can be in a fight? You don't get any weapons, just you versus the animal. Probably a crow. <laughs> I'm here with Dr. Kid. And what's the largest animal you could be in a fight? Probably a mongoose. Mongoose, okay. Um, I don't know how fresh this mongoose are. Can you give us a little insight? On the average mongoose, this big. Oh, so it's a, it's a small creature. Yeah, small creature. So you don't think very highly of yourself in combat. You think, I mean, I'm old. And what's the largest animal you could be in a fight? Probably like a baby whale, because it like gets it out of the water, you just beat it up, and it can't defend itself. Probably a kangaroo. Most likely a sloth. A cow. Um, probably just a dog or a wolf, because. I mean, I'm pretty short. A deer. Okay, so what is the largest animal you think you can take in a uh, fight? I think a pig. What's the largest animal you all can beat in a fight, two versus one? Probably a kangaroo. All right, now how are you all going to beat this kangaroo? 
uh, Tommy can like jump it from the back, and I guess I'll just jump it from the front. I'd probably say a cow. Okay, how are you gonna do it? What's your plan of attack? The ankles, bro. They're weak. Um, definitely a bear. If it's a black bear, you have to fight them. But if it's not a black bear, you're supposed to run. But I wouldn't run. Maybe a giraffe. An ostrich. A sloth. Because, you know, they're just so slow. And what's the largest animal you could beat in a fight? Just a really big fish. Do we know. Do we have a specific kind of fish? No. No, just a fish. A panda. I'm going to climb up him and just like strangle him, I guess. Probably like a goat. Like a mountain goat, a feigning yeah, goat. a mountain goat. You know those things are mean, right? Yeah, that's fine. I'll just take them down. How are you going to take it down, though? Punch it in the face. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> What's the biggest animal you think you can take in a fight? No weapons, just you versus the animal. A uh, mountain lion. A mountain lion? All right, what are you going to do to beat the mountain lion? Uh, definitely got to stay on the inside of it. You get it, you know, if it stands up trying to grab you, whatever, you know, you got to stay on the inside so it can't get its arms all the way around you to attack you. So, and control its head so it can't bite you. But, you know, you know I'd say I'd size up to it, you know, but I could say a grizzly bear. But, I, think, you know. I think you could take a grizzly bear. So this, I could take this, a grizzly bear? This is easy for you. I don't want to show off, you know, or I, anything I, like that. But, I think a mountain lion's light work for you, personally. Well, I don't know, maybe. But, mm -hmm. you know, I guess we'll just have to I see. try grizzly bear, but, you know, I'm, I don't we'll, know. We'll test it out one day. Okay, sounds good. All right, thank you. Uh, May, what's the biggest animal you think you could take on? Probably like a mole rat. What about you? Probably an ant. Okay then. That's all for News from the Nest. See you next week, cards. That's all for the news on this week from what? <laughs> the better question is how many kindergartners can you take at one time? <laughs>